Hi guys, today we're going to do a video on adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, so this is basic fraction arithmetic. Um, we're going to also do a video after this on multiplication and division of fractions. And you're going to see that these two videos are going to be quite different, but these are very important in order to move on to higher uh, subjects such as algebra and so forth. Okay, so let's start right away with an example and I'll also explain <clears throat> the method. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the most basic example. The most basic example for adding fractions is when the denominators, which is <clears throat> the number in the bottom, right? That's called the denominator. <clears throat> is are equal. <clears throat> Excuse me. When they are equal, there is nothing really to be done except to add the numerator. So this equals 1 plus 3. And what you do, the trick is with the addition and subtraction of fractions is that once the denominators are equal when you actually get to the addition of them you do not add the denominators the denominator becomes whatever that denominator is in the two fractions okay so let's do a couple more of these so we'll call this example one let's do example two seven over twelve plus 3 over 12. Okay, so first thing we notice, the denominators are equal. Okay, so we are ready to do the second step, which is just to add the fraction. So we add 7 plus 3, we add the numerators, and the denominator stays the same. Okay, so that's the answer. Let's do one more like this. So this drives this point home. Eight sevenths plus six sevenths. Denominators are equal, so we're ready to go to the second step, which is to just add the fractions. And when we add the fractions, we add the numerators. If the denominators are equal, we can add the numerators and the denominator stays the same. <clears throat> okay, notice it, none of these fractions, these answers that I got are in simplest form and I'm purposely not simplifying these any further. The, that's, the point of this video is to learn <clears throat> how to add <clears throat> fractions, not to uh, uh, get them in simplest form. I'll make a video specifically on reducing fractions and another video on changing improper fractions into mixed numbers but for this for sake of this video we're interested in the concept of adding and subtracting fractions okay so now let's do a couple subtraction so how about three halves minus one half <clears throat> same idea if the denominators are equivalent, then we can just go ahead and go to the step two, which is just to subtract the two numerators, and the denominator stays the same. Okay? How about 12 thirteenths minus 5 thirteenths? So the denominators are equal. <coughs> So the answer is just 7 over 13, because 12 minus 5 is 7, and the 13 does not change. Okay. Notice this theme, please, throughout all these problems, that when the denominators are the same, it's just simple arithmetic, and the answer has the same denominator. Let's do one more subtraction with the same denominator. How about 5 sevenths minus 2 sevenths? Denominators are equal, so we can just go ahead and do 5 minus 2, and 7 remains. Okay? <clears throat> now, 
In the next video, I'm going to show you how to handle a problem such as this. You may be asking, and you may have seen already in your homework, problems where the denominators are not the same, right? Stuff like this. So the thing to notice here is that 3 and 2 are not equal, right? And over here, 7 and 3 are not equal. And when this is the case, we cannot just do 1 plus 1 is 2 and then I don't even know what you would do here on that logic. The, the, the step that's required first is to get these two denominators to be equal before we can do any addition or in this case subtraction. Okay? So these problems on the right are going to I'm going to cover in the next video and these problems require an extra step that we haven't seen so far in the problems we did. Okay? So be sure to watch the next video because these are very important. And also, be sure to watch a video on multiplication and division of fractions. Okay? So, till next time, subscribe, comment, and see you next time.